Hello everyone. Welcome to the Field of Streams, where I, your host, Janine McRae, bring you the tiny thoughts that stream from my brain and present them to you as though they're a $5,000 hamburger with Wagyu beef and beluga caviar, and you have $10,000, so it means that you can have two. Mmm, saucy. Now, I can't promise you much with these weekly nibbles, but I can promise you this. I won't keep you long. Today's missive was inspired by the types of conflict you find in story. They say that for your story to be interesting, it must have conflict. But this is me, so I went in hot on the idea of internal conflict with self as having all the elements of that multiple types of conflict you can build a story on. So things like protagonist versus antagonist, character versus nature, character versus technology, etc. Self versus self, hence the two Janines talking to each other. Basic premise... Sometimes being your best self takes some wrangling with your actual self. Whoa. So without any further waffling, here is the post, The Conflict of Being in Conflict. You again. Yes. You ask me of my conflict. You ask as vacantly as office space downtown. Your sly gaze and your misprinted lyrics itch beneath our skin, begging for correction and a notice in tomorrow's paper. This conflict is ours. Fact-checked. Corrected. I am both protagonist and antagonist, I and you, strolling through the vibrant street stalls of our shared brain, touching at the knick-knacks and flipping carts. Cries of injustice, a shaming within our citadel's walls. Little birds flit to their masters and whisper of an approaching brawl. There is no shillelagh law in the kingdom of the self. No rules, no control. I simply enter the ring... And there you are. You am I. Yes. You beat me down. Stay down, stay down. I keep getting up. The bell never rings. An endless round with blood spat out and teeth loose and aching in the mouth. Gloves and headgear and aspirin and gauze. A stew within organs shifting and skin contracting. Wild punches and uppercuts and thumbprints of petroleum jelly gobbing on the brow. The concussions rack up like billiard balls. It's a cover-up conspiracy. Formulaic frequencies reveal mundane weaknesses as I spar against myself. I am hero. I am villain. One of us is knocked out cold. One dies on the mat to be slapped back to life by the rude hand of belief. It is unclear who was who. You are me. I am you. We are protagonist and antagonist in the plotline of this mind. It is exhausting. This movie has no clear resolution, yet we dread the end credits. The fade to black. Who are we directed by? And the timeline sings of injustice and bloats and bleats against our cosmic ceiling. The timeline, still rolling, pegs its seconds to our wire. Know thyself, they say. And yet who the hell are you? And I? If I don't know you, and you don't know, they never will. Tell me of your pain. It is insignificant to all who can't feel it. It cannot be seen by the naked eye, but is hinted at by light winking through the cracks of our floorboards. Dust spores released into the air with each footfall, and the faint hint of smoke tickling at our nostrils, warning us of the looming. It comes. We burn, we crackle, we spit at the sky with fiery insolence. I firewalk these coals, and am fuelled by the pain held in the soft arch of my foot. Brave? Enduring. Even as the heels burn and the cauterization of soul and soul occurs, I am in conflict with the fire that we ourselves lit, comprised of pain atoms colliding with each other at inconvenient times. Fear, lack of trust, alone in the moment. These are the dodgem cars with tyres melting and whiplash seated behind the wheel. I am a new stranger to my own town, bursting through the saloon door to make the music stop. Without knowing you, how can I know myself, my own worst enemy? You and I, still. Black hat and white hat. We are the pain that threatens to engulf us whole. We are the fire, out of control, and licking at our pain receptors like summer popsicles. You, me, us. But it was you, not me, who assigned us bit parts in this life. We watch saying nothing, blending into the scenery. Thanks for that. It is my nature to struggle mightily with these I've-been-left-behind feelings. The group moved on while I got distracted watching butterflies and poking at slugs. 
alone again on the overgrown trail with no map. This world is a jungle with vines that entangle and things that bite into the tender part of my armpits. There are mysterious eyes glinting in the darkness. Wild life. The weather systems within me are violent and unpredictable. This cloud jealousy, that tornado, an ill-defined anger that builds and builds until it lifts foundations and flings us skyward. Conflict in the isobars, destruction in the barometric pressure, a storm, a tempest, a demasting gust howls across our ocean and we are swallowed by the atmosphere, watching on as it chews off our feet in giant meteorological bites. And still... We worship at the Thunderhead. I scream into your face. You scream into mine. I am fighting against the world. You are fighting with and against me. My body bubbles with the venom of it, scabs over until the weight of it shifts and another landslide takes out the whole side of this mountain. A scar, a slip, a resettling of my earth. When my protagonist gets comfortable, my antagonist introduces more conflict. That's you. That's me, the nature of us. Wild and unpredictable, with no compass and no oxygen. We might as well be stuck on Mars. Is that our destiny? That I will decay? That you will fade away? That we will suffocate? No. I tell you this in confidence, and I know you will keep it stumm. You are the only one I trust. Listen. I, we, continue. For as long as is necessary despite the difficulty, despite the conflict within, despite and because of our knockdown and drag out brawls with each other. We are designed to fly and so must take our test flights and log our hours into the big book. Fate is a construct designed to bring hope, to squash the sense of pointlessness that prevails. But? But I do not believe in fate, therefore you do not believe in it either. I do not believe we have been doomed to this plot device. There are no three witches foretelling anything about us. We do not pluck out our own eyes. There is no love triangle between you, me and the world, nor will we save it. There are no vampires in our life that just want to be loved. We are not a tale as old as time. Our runtime has not been set. Exactly. We are writing the script as we go. Yes. We are both protagonist and antagonist in the exterior and interior. Yes. I resolve. I resolve again. And the timeline sings of injustice and bloats and bleats against our cosmic ceiling. I am resolved. The timeline, still rolling, pegs its seconds to our wire. And it all happens on our watch. Exactly. And there you have it, this week's episode. I hope you'll come back for more. These little missives are designed to inspire creative folk to get out and make something on their own. If you do enjoy my writing, please be sure to subscribe to the stream newsletter at janinemccrae.substack.com. And until next we meet, love what you love, and I'll see you out there making stuff.